YouTube. Well, sorry I haven't been posting lately, but I'm gonna upload a vlog explaining why I haven't, but I was on YouTube a few days ago and I saw something that caught my interest. On Tyler Fialco's video, he modified his wing and he ha added a, a nicer looking bat shit to it, so personally I hate the way this looks. I didn't realize, well, I had an idea in mind to change it, but I didn't know what kind of design to use. And the fact that I didn't know how it was going to look, so I just left it. But since I saw how the, the one he made looked, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do that because it looked pretty sick. So, completely stealing his idea here, but <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to, what I what I started to do now is I want to keep the top the same size from here to here. So, what I'm going to do is I traced around this whole thing. For a general mock-up, I'm gonna take this out and create the same bolt holes, and pretty much draw up my own design for it. It's gonna be similar to his because his looks pretty freaking awesome. So let's get that started. Here's my design. Well, here's the the initial mock-up for it. Let me write left for lame, but. But yeah, here's the initial size of it, so time to go add some cardboard around this and create a bigger one. Hopefully I can make a, a sicker looking piece. Alrighty. So after two minutes of uh, cutting and taping and drawing, that's what I got. It's pretty sharp. I wanted to cut people, so yeah. From this side is probably the best way to look at it, but should be pretty pointy enough to, sh to shank someone when they uh, touch my damn wing. So, um, for the initial fight, well, for the product that I'm gonna use to actually make it, I have spare plexiglass that's pretty thick. Well, not thick, but like pretty sturdy. So, I'm gonna draw my design out on that and um, cut it, and hopefully it comes out good because plexiglass when you cut it and it gets hot. It tends to uh, melt and destroy your cutting wheel or whatever you use to cut it with so let's see how that goes for those of you who want an update on the 240 well so far nothing has been done I will explain why in my vlog that's gonna come out in a while but what I really did was put on some 17s that I had painted gold and uh, look at that monster truck over there oh my god yeah, just put this on and to see how it's going to look with 17s. I might get 18s instead of 17s, so we'll see. And I've taken part in a project that I have not recorded, but... Just for the fact that I have like little space to do shit, so... Recording isn't the best thing to do right now. But anyways, I'm building a stand strike. So, those wheels are not final. Those are just to create my angle, my camber and stuff, so we'll see. But what I plan on doing is buying steel wheels and uh, cutting it and make it like extremely like deep deep dished and using it since there's no since there's not gonna be like uh, weight put on, on the wheel so yeah I will I might do a, a little like cinematic uh, thing uh, for well an edit for uh, this crap so you know we'll see how it goes after that so I gotta get me a chair I gotta actually fix that fork by getting um by getting a, a unicycle part because this is like completely haggard completely like haggard with all the well spots and shit so yeah I'm gonna properly do that later on that's just for like a test so far it rides well it rolls smoothly and I can do wheelies on it so now nah, let me stop but yeah I'm gonna here's the plexiglass that you have hopefully it's big enough I can freaking get it right Hopefully it's big enough, so let me set up my camera and start drawing. Alright, so I got my camera set up, so let's get this drawn and uh, 
figure out a way to keep it steady. So I'm going to clean off my plexiglass really quick. And luckily, it wasn't too big so I can actually put this shit down and actually draw so... I was supposed to make make I was supposed to make my splitter uh, my sp oh wow can't speak I was supposed to make my splitter out of out of this but it's not big enough so I can't really use that but let's get tracing You can barely see it, but and then there's the other one. Now it's time to cut this crap. So let me get my cutting utensil set up. And uh, did I really say cutting utensil? Well, let me get my cutting stuff set up, and um, I'll get back to the video. So here, here I have a grinder with some cutting wheels and a sanding pad for clearing up some uh, dirty edges and a paintball mask that I now use for when I cut shit with the grinder so I don't get shit all over my eyes but you know so I'll be cutting this down the middle right here, and then getting everything prepared to uh, get cut so let me do that I'll set my, my camera up so I can actually mount it. Um, I can put the plastic glass awesome on top of that and cut it so let me do This is why you wear uh, a mask to protect your nose because this shit is disgusting. Oh my god. Alright, so I got the pieces cut out. So what I'm going to do... Okay, so you see how there's like the leftover marks. I'm going to take the flapper wheel now and grind down all the, all the way down to the line. So I'll have a perfect cut because if I try to do it with the grinder wheel, what's going to happen is it's going to burn the plastic and cause it to melt and not really have a, a clean cut so these cuts are all like fantastically clean so yeah let me do that real quick because this thing generates a lot of dust and I don't want, to, want my camera to get dirty so I'll do that and I'll be back so after many minutes of cutting and grinding and sanding this is what I'm left with 
a nice clear cut shape that I'm gonna transform into winglets. Now, if you're probably wondering how I'm gonna make this look good because what well, is clear, well, here's one for you. If I can make my X look good, I can make this look good. So, middle of the night, well, not really, it's about to get dark, so I moved upstairs. I got some flat black paint, so let's get this going. There's hair in that shit, I'm so done. When it dries, it'll get flat, so I'm not worried about that. But let me go breathe in some actual air so I don't die, but... Yeah. When this is finished, I'll get back to you. So I'm doing the first initial test fit. I only have one bolt on holding it right now, but... So far, it's kind of not... It's not bad. It looks pretty, like, mean and, like, you know, pointy and shit. I love how it kind of, like, goes with the contour of the car, so... You know, it's not bad. I like it. It's decent. Oh, also, dude, I opened up the new one. I also had it epoxy because, well, I don't trust this shit, so... Dude, there was water inside that shit just running out, like, yo. But... I feel kind of mad it's not that thick, but we'll see. How I can fix that later on, but... Yeah, it looks pretty sick, actually, so... I'll keep going and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. When I'm done. Be back. Well guys, here it is, the final product. It's not too shabby actually, it looks pretty sick. It does flap around a little, but... A little bit of plex, I mean, a little bit of fiberglass can fix that, but you know. We'll see. Came out decent actually, I like it. A few of my friends saw it and they were like, Yo, the car looks so much good, so much better with, the, with this uh, winglet on it, but... You know, it's there. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And I'll be coming out with that vlog pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Looks weird from this angle. Batman. Alright guys, <laughs> I'll see you guys later.